Welcome one and all. This is the Peace Dealer. I'm with my very special and beautiful guest, Rachel, from Spend Smart, Live Happy. Hey, everybody. And uh, we're going to be talking about receptivity and uh, being receptive to your intuitive gifts and developing your psychic ability. It's something that um, in my five plus years of being an intuitive I'm still not really the best at. So thankfully, I'm talking to someone who's really amazing at being receptive. <laughs> He's being too humble. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Mike's super psychic. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's my cat moon. I'm, I'll never really, I'll be too hard on myself. I always say I can do better. But um, yeah, that's definitely, I was pulling my Oracle card deck. Um, the Osho Zen Oracle cards mm. and uh, the receptive card came out and that really like spoke to me for an instant because I realized that I haven't been as receptive as I could be even though like the whole notion of receptivity is constant like I'm always receiving messages and intuitive insights but something that I'm, I'm ready to look at with newer eyes and a deeper appreciation yeah, I think it's a great subject because I'm sure on your channel and viewers and clients, you might get a lot of questions, as I know I do, about how to interpret some of these new senses and gifts and abilities that are awakening or how to work with these energies. Perhaps there are things that you've been experimenting with and exploring over the years but all of a sudden now with different astrological transits and collective energies that we're experiencing it's like exploding to a whole new level mm -hmm. and I'm sure that you've experienced as I know I have and it'll be great to talk about that I think for the for the viewers of what to do when you have this sudden burst in different abilities or gifts and trying to basically navigate the integration of that and understanding how to work with those energies when they may feel very intense. Yeah, especially when you're not sure how to like decipher what is what and how to know what is fear, what is intuitive advice, what is, you know, a voice versus an actual telepathic projection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or sometimes like what are it, I have found it can be confusing when you start to have an awakening to the ability to pick up on maybe collective energies, being able to channel messages for the collective, not just yourself or mm -hmm. your immediate circle. That was something that was very, very confusing for me at first when that began to happen because I was picking up on messages that at first I didn't realize were not my own. Mm. So this is an experience that can happen to some people and how to navigate that and be able to learn how to, let's say if you enjoy, if you're a reader and you enjoy working with different tools like the tarot or oracle cards and you're suddenly receiving messages that can be overwhelming and understanding what are your messages and what are perhaps, a, what is a collective message, being able to decipher between the two so that you can practice responsible reading and not uh, <laughs> um, undesirably creating re havoc within your personal life because yeah. you're getting messages that are not your own and he, you mentioning um your no you mentioning like senses being triggered or or new senses coming out triggered uh i instantly saw uranus and taurus because that definitely is taking our five senses and bringing it to the next level and i noticed ever since then like the ability to um kind of hear insights or receive information has taken on a much stronger quality whereas before i was not really sure what i was even receiving or how to understand it now it's like more solid and it's like okay um it's really it's really making me look at the whole notion of being receptive in a much more responsible way yeah kind of go back to the drawing board and be like okay this is this is what i've been Especially in a case where I, uh, I would, as, as someone who's more mental myself, I, I would think that most of these were just my thoughts or like mm. my own personal like 
energies. That's why I love that you said knowing what's the collective message versus knowing uh, it's, uh, what's yours, especially as a tower reader where you can pull like recurring cards and then realize until later that it was it wasn't even for you really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, totally. And you know, something we've chatted about personally before, just for those of you who are not familiar with having seen us on other platforms, Mike and I love to work together. We have a lot of fun. We've, we've done collaborations on both of our personal YouTube channels, and we're so excited to be doing our first official High Vibe collaboration. And if you guys are not yet subscribed to High Vibe, please make sure that you subscribe today. You're going to be able to um, have access to a lot of different types of subscriptions and find which one is right for you.